ist für so wichtig für die tägliche klinische Praxis. Now, where to begin? We are in the cleaning business. We are cleaners. In dealing with dirt, toxins, and all types of mean bad guys. Microscopic villains, also known as bacteria. They've learned that for anything to be clean, it has to be absolutely spotless. Nothing left behind. No stone left under it. From top to bottom, start to finish, from the beginning to the very end. And it is all about the end. The end is one of the supreme principles of endodontics. That's the reason we are called endodontists. And endodontics is the one and only branch in dentistry that is performed in total darkness. Besides all technology, knowledge and experience, no one knows what is really down there. So, talking about the end, I just love happy endings. I have a crush on happy endings. Reaching the end is a happy ending. So, 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 where to begin? Surely, we would start from the end. A qué te refieres con the end? The end. The very end of any given canal. Pero todavía hay mucha confusión sobre dónde podría ser el final. What makes you confused? Zero is zero. Nothing but the zero. But a lot of us were taught to establish working length one millimeter shorter of apical terminus in order to take care and to be extremely soft hearted and extremely responsible to periapical space. Further on, not to extrude debris and so on. Briefly, working short, deliberately or by mistake, inevitably leads you into spectacular mistakes. Answer on working length determination is well known, but you need time to hear it, otherwise you would have heard it long time ago. Once upon a time, in this very universe, Master Jedi Schiller answered that question. And Master Jedi Buchanan founded a new Jedi Order known as the Apical Barbarians. They spread the glory of endodontics to the universe. But I'm afraid that that story story about the bulb lovers and apical barbarians, we'll have to leave it for another time. Entonces, ¿dónde está el final de mi canal? The end means zero. Zero? The end, the happy end, in most cases means zero. We want zero reading on our apex locator, no less, no more. The point zero going to be your working land determination and the beginning of your treatment calculation for any given canal. It simply means go to the radiographic terminus with the smallest elastic file and take care of it. Taking care of radiographic terminus is a fundamental concept we know as apical patency. Now, once you accomplish negotiation to working land, apical patency is something you must have as something you must not lose. With the patency file, you need to sneak out to peek, to check if you are on the end. Simply, patency means exiting canal terminus for one millimeter with your patency file. That's why so important phase called negotiation to working length is also known as a negotiation to patency because there is no working on length without patency. Apical patents is the pure essence of your endodontic philosophy, the winning strategy, and it has deep spiritual meaning as well. Maintaining apical patency simply means you are in control. You are the gatekeeper, and you are the key master of the portals of exit. Gatekeeper. Key master. That's amazing.
mad. When is the proper time to check the ethical basis? Each time. Every time. Anytime. All the time. How to become a gatekeeper and keyless? Take your patency file, which must be flexible, let's say size 10, and gently slide to and carefully go to radiographic terminals. Then you must be fully focused, be precise and measure movements. Drive your file in tiny vertical strokes, half to one millimeter. That strokes will break up the debris and you will clear your foramen. And your foramen will not be clogged and it will remain passable. And the entire canal with the most critical apical turn will be clean. And we are in the cleaning business as you know from the beginning. Again, keep your foramen as small as practical. Prevent blockage of apical constriction and it will protect you from ledge formation and transportation. Because when you frequently check apical patency, you simply know you are on the right track. Because in the darkness, in the blood, in the mud, after a couple of curvatures, no one knows what is really down there. Deliberately sneaking out of your canal means you have the contact with outer space. I sense. There was and there is a lot of fear about the other side. Yes, you are in the periapical tissue about one millimeter. And do not be afraid. You need to have contact, contact with periapical tissue. Having no contact with periapical tissue just means you are not at the very end. If you are not a one millimeter patent at the end of your apex, you simply do not have control of your entire canal and the end of your root canal will never be cleaned. There is far more threatening and genuine reason to be afraid of and that is losing apical patency. And what if, Nios Novakera, what if we lose the apical patency? Is there any plan B? There is no plan B. If you lose patency, you might be just a half millimeter to the apex and thousand miles from happiness. <laughs>